He has been retired for years, but one Silver Spring man says he still has a job to do. He helps others get around. And in today's Eco 9 report, meteorologist Mary Marshall shows how bike repairs are really helping neighbors and the environment. In a small shed tucked away in his backyard is where you'll find Manuel Vera on most days. Busy at work, testing gears, spinning wheels, all to get bikes rolling again. I've always enjoyed fixing bikes, tinkering with them. This is not just a hobby, it's hope. Manuel gives the bikes away for free. It all started in 2020 when people were locked down in the pandemic and he was not able to get out as much. Manuel started repairing bikes for neighbors, only charging for parts. Then he took a few of them near downtown Silver Spring and held up a sign with the words, free bikes. They, they would ask me, are these really free? What do you want? And I said, yes, absolutely, they're free. They would take one out, take it for a little test ride around the parking lot and uh, decide to take it. So I just uh, told them, yeah, go ahead, it's yours. I would help them load the bike and off they went. Right now, there are about 50 bikes in his yard waiting to be repaired and given away. So far, he says he's given away 730 bikes and counting. Ooh. How are you? Good. Good, good. good. He now works with charities such as Homes Not Borders, which helps Afghan refugees who need a new start. Working with Manuel has been a, a true blessing. Um, he takes care of uh, some of the needs that the refugees, um, you know, they, they need a bike. The kids need bikes to, you know, um, go around. They've been through a lot. But not only is this helping people, it's helping the planet. Bikes that end up abandoned or in the trash can cause environmental waste. It's a full circle moment for Manuel, who spent his career working at Pepco, ensuring that businesses were energy efficient. While not his primary intention, it is a beneficial side effect. It works out for, for me, for the environment, and for the p person that's getting the bicycle. He doesn't always meet the person on the other side of the handlebars, but there are a few stories that stick with him. There was uh, one gentleman who obviously was having a hard time. And this one man approached me, uh, he said, uh, can I have a bike? And I said, sure. He takes it for a ride and I um, told him, go ahead and take it. And he looked at me and I said, uh, you give me hope, like that. And uh, that, uh, that got to me. I, I, I still, to this day, think about that person. Moments like that keep the wheels in motion. Just uh, doing little things that touch people directly is, uh, is what's keeping this project going. Mary Marshall, WUSA 9. It's a beautiful story. Mary, thank you. By the way, neighbors and friends say they have chipped in on his mission. So when he goes to local bike shops, they also help him and they rarely charge for service. This is all to support the effort.